Hi, this is Sonia with RC Solutions and welcome to the Makers Creative Collab and it's hosted by PM Artist Studio and their Facebook group is Makers of Mixed Media Art or Artists and um, there's a group of us YouTubers and a group of us non-YouTubers who were participating in the, the monthly uh, collaborations and so for this month of March it's Dreamweaver and so my take on the Dreamweaver it's kinda like a like fantasy dreamland kind of um, fairy tale kinda of thing that's my take on it so uh, let me just go ahead and show you what I made um, so I made this it's like a journal card I guess or Actually, it's not really a journal card. I'm going to probably put this on the inside of something, inside of a, a scrapbook or a journal. But it's not going to, um, I'm not going to show this back part. But anyway, um, it has like a little sticker that came from Graphic 45's uh, Once Upon a Springtime. And then I added this uh, muslin. Uh, no, not muslin. This is cheesecloth. And it comes down. I have some die cuts and um the word enchanted uh, and then I added this little um, dream catcher that's from the Dollar Tree it's a little sticker and I backed it on some craft card stocks so that I could stick it on here and this kind of comes up and it reveals an eye and it's it's kind of like when this is in here the eye is closed because they're dreaming or the person is dreaming and then it opens up and um, they're just in dream world. This, they see things that are, you know, fairies and mushrooms and different whatever things. So basically, um, what I did to create this is I just took two pieces of cardstock and I I drew out the outline of the eye. And um, on the back portion of the cardstock, um, I just kind of painted different layers of paint, you know, create it like a circle and paint it different layers of paint. And then um, I took some watercolor paints and went around the eye to draw the lashes. And then um, after that dried, I took a stencil and it's the mandala stencil um, by PM Artist Studio, the Days Galactic Petticoat. Uh, this one right here and I kind of created some images from uh, the stencil with around the eye and uh, then I also took some some monochrome uh, paint pens acrylic paint pens and went around the edges of the eye to make the eyelashes with white and then also um, there's some black eyelashes from the watercolor paints behind it and then I went in and I took some gold mica paint and made some additional eyelashes just to kind of create a little more just to give it more definition and then on the inside of the eyeball um, I, cre I painted some pink and then after the pink and blue dried which is the circle of the eyeball I came in and I actually, you probably can't really see it, but I took a stencil and the butterfly stencil that's also from PM Artist Studio and I took an ink pen and then I went over it with um, the emboss it pen, this uh, Tim Holtz, not Tim Holtz, but uh, Ranger emboss it pen and uh, I used the butterfly stencil, added some uh, clear embossing uh, powder by Ranger and I also use some of the holographic uh, embossing powder from Ranger too. I'll have a list of things that I use on the in the description and then after I got the butterfly I came back with the mandala stencil and I created this eye the center of the eye and I pretty much did the same thing and then I went over it with some white gesso and then went back over it with the embossing powder just to make it kind of shine a little bit you know and so hence we have our eye 
So, and then this comes out, you know, and it, you can stick that back down inside. It's kind of like a pocket, like a little mini pocket. And it's like the, the eyelid that's closed, and then the eyelid that opens. Okay, and then this can go inside of a journal. And then I also created um, just two journal pages that's going to go inside of the um, this the eye and all of these are going to go inside of my uh, spring blossom journal that I'm still working on. And so I just took some stickers um, and it just kind of created like a collage of stuff on here. And this opens up like this, this belly band, it opens up like so. And then you have, um, I did some stenciling and embossing. Same thing here, I did stamping and embossing. I'm just going to put that back up. And it connects with the Velcro closure and some OHP paper. I didn't have any acetate, so I just used some OHP paper and then put a little sticker there and created that. And this is basically just coffee dyed paper with um, some more uh, just leftover prints from uh, stencils that I had. And I just used a combination of Distress Oxide inks and stuff like that. There's a little pocket. And like I said, this is going to go inside of a journal. And then this one, same way. And you can see the, the print from the mandala stencil that I used on here. And um, you, you can faintly see that too. And then this is also the smaller mandala stencil behind here. And then I use some Bow Bunny stamps and emboss with the clear embossing powder. And on the inside you can see the same thing for the background. And then I just added a little pocket. I just used some scrap card stock. And I used this uh, like bow. And it, this comes from the Spring Blossoms kit from um, the Sweet Spot Felicia. And then I took some scrap papers and just kind of created this pocket. And then there's a little pocket here. Did the same thing. Just took some scrap paper and um, hold on, let me set this down. And I created this right here. And I just added a little die cut. Did some more stamping and embossing. And um, this is just a little journal card from Once Upon a Springtime Graphic 45. And I took another one of those uh, strips from the Sweet Spot Alicia. And then this is like a little tuck spot right here. And then um, this right here, this little envelope comes from the Sweet Spot Alicia. This is part of her Spring Blossoms kit. And then this little flower that's on here is a freebie from her Patreon channel. And then this opens up and it's this is a, this template was originally just an envelope template, but I added like another piece of paper on here, cardstock, and created like an additional pocket. And I just took a little sticker from the Dollar Tree, and then this little sticker comes from uh, Timu. This sticker, and then these little stickers also are from Timu, and I just added those on there. And then this is a little pocket right here, and then. Um, this right here is Graphic 45. I just created like a little journal card for it. And then this is going to fold back up and it connects with the uh, Velcro. And that's pretty much it. And like I said, these are all going to go inside of a journal. But that's my take on uh, Dreamweaver. So I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, Please check out, check out my blog and my social media sites and my other videos on my channel. And uh, check out the next video in the, the hop for this collaboration. And I'll have a card up in the corner. Um, so once again, thanks uh, for watching and have a great day.